Oh man, this is gonna be Tick City probably. Ew, what the hell was that? Oh my god. Here it is, the Van Slyke Castle. There's not much that's really, there's not much information about it online. It was built sometime in the 1920s. Like I said, there's not much information about it, but um, sometime around then, it uh, changed hands a couple times. Sometime in the 60s or the 70s, it was, uh, it was totally left, it was being abandoned, and then it burned. I'll compare it to the pictures, but um, it was like a rounded room and you used to be able to actually see the original tile around. Oh yeah, here. This is the original tile still on the floor in places. That's pretty, pretty wild. But yeah, you can see how the building curved around. Beautiful stonework. one of the fireplaces and you can see this fireplace on the second story still has the steel plate that sat in the back it's cracked I wonder if that was cracked from fire or heat or just from vandals the original boiler is still in here still inside what would have been the basement looks like a monster That's insane. I wonder how inefficient that thing is, or was. Check this out. It's the original pool to the house. That is wild. This is the uh, New Jersey Ramapo Mountains. This is very beautiful up here. I bet you some of you didn't even know that New Jersey has woods and mountains like that. It absolutely does. Very beautiful. Oh, and by the way, I'm wearing my Mr. Rogers Neighborhood t-shirt. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. I tore the original Mr. Rogers Neighborhood TV set. So I'll try to put a link somewhere. So this is the water tower that they used to collect their water. Like I said, it's about a quarter mile, maybe a little bit further. And this is the very, very top of the mountain. Ugh. Will you go to the prom with me? Well, it's pretty obvious that the Vance Lake Castle was pretty amazing in its day. Uh, it's pretty cool in this state too. Hopefully we'll be here for a while. Look at that snake. Wow. <laughs> that was one of the biggest snakes I've ever seen. That, that was scary. I, did, I just looked up and it was right there. So I'm going on a little hike right now. Um, I had heard that there was a, an abandoned cottage along this river in New Jersey. And um, I wanna go down and see if I can find it and see what condition it is. I, I don't know if it's a whole cottage, whole house, or just remains of one, I'm not really sure. So, so it's not every day you find an antique tub on the side of a trail. <laughs> How she get inside this thing? <laughs> there's water in here. Oh, there's bugs in here too. Oh, it stinks. I could take a bath out here. <laughs> the water smells really bad. It'd be really nice property to have.
be cool to live here. You could you could swim here, you could fish here, just hang out. It's pretty cool. So this is it. This is the old house. Or they, they call it a cottage. You can see the original stonework, the original fireplace. I love, I love this archway. This would be cool to, to build a new house on it, but keep all this stonework. So whoever lived here, they could just open their door and just go right down, right down the stairs. So you'd come in and this would this was like a big porch area and then yeah look at the bottom here there's a uh, maybe that's where the door doorway was so this was the actual house that would make sense and then this was a window this was probably your living room with the uh, fireplace and then I bet you this probably was the bedroom and look at this like I it's like a weird double wall. This is probably the bathroom because look, it has some sort of like a drain or something like this. So this was probably a bathroom. So that was it. Pretty small house. An original tiny house. So I'm going to see an old school bus. There's like a, uh, it's like a 60s style school bus just sitting in the woods in the New Jersey woods. So, coming back here to try to find it. It's, I've been here once before, but I'm going a little bit different way. So, we'll see how this works. Oh man, this is gonna be Tick City probably. Ew, what the hell was that? Oh my God. All right, we're back. I'm not sure what that was. I think I stepped on a stick and it flew up and hit my other leg. I don't know. Oh man. I don't think anybody's been over to this bus in quite some time. But here she is. Made it. Huh. Definitely seen better days. Wow. My God. Oh man. Bit of a rust problem. Probably animals living under here. Still got the engine. Wow, this this side is when I was here last time, there was this tree had fallen on it. This is a, a couple years back, and uh, it was not nearly as bad. I mean, it's really you could, it, it's it's really crushed at this point. It was definitely not this bad the last time I was here. I even thought about like bringing a saw and trying to cut this because all that weight is what pushed this down. But even these, this this wasn't crushed like this the last time I was here. Rotting into the ground here, literally, quite literally. I love that. It's like that 60s style where it's like, it's curved. It's got that great, great curve in the back. That is cool. School bus A36. <laughs>
Oh God. Hey guys, thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you liked it. If you did, definitely subscribe and follow me along on my journey. I travel all over the country checking out amazing weird places like here and I'll uh, see you on the next adventure. Oh, and to see last week's vlog, just click over there. Oh.